Wigman is an AR RPG set up in the medieval fantasy world inspired by Anglo-Saxon and Celtic cultures that is set to release sometime in March 2022. You will get to play as Wigman, a young warrior tasked to uncover the new regime's dark secrets. You will get to travel an open world rich with outlaw camps, ruined castles, and dangerous dungeons and forgotten ruins to explore. And as in any respectable fantasy story, there are dragons. Yes, you heard me. Dragons, which is one of my favorite mystical creatures of all time. Now, the game offers unique skill based gameplay in which you get to control Wigman's sword with gestures as your mouse becomes an extension of your weapon. A complex and intricate story about the unexpected adventures of the hidden knights, alleys that will venture forth through unfathomable danger, detailed equipment, special attacks, skills, and specializations. So, I've been taking a new approach when it comes to making first impressions videos videos on this channel just playing through the tutorial doesn't cut it so i'll be working hard to provide more substantial first impressions slash playthroughs that will showcase early mid to end game content all in one video so you can make an educated decision on whether it's worth your time before we get into some gameplay don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more mmos rpgs playthroughs first impressions and other shenanigans let us begin So here we are now. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be using my controller or my mouse and keyboard because I've heard and I've actually read that the, the controls in this game, they are quite different, but uh, we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll, oh, you're too far. Okay. We need to get closer. Cool. I punched there. I punched the apples for some reason and then open our quest log with L. Uh, map with M and then character tab with C. Okay, let's pick this up and then pick some apples up. And then we obviously rotate our camera with uh, right uh, mouse button and then uh, punch with uh, left. Okay, not bad, not bad. So let me equip the stuff that I just picked up. I've got my shield, wooden buckler, and then my, <laughs> my wooden axe. And then I'll, I didn't want to eat that, but okay, put that there and then keep moving forward so this is the explanation of the controls quickly uh click the left mouse button for a light attack towards the mouse cursor multi swipe attack will be automatically used on multiple enemies to enable manual gesture combat recommended for expert players i'm not an expert players disable automatic combat gestures in the gameplay option so left mouse for a quick attack and uh, it disappeared great so i would say to have those up uh <laughs> like as a checklist and remove it uh as soon as the player performs that action because now i have no idea how to do it i read it but uh i'll figure it out i guess okay so who is this ariel okay do not fear i am your guardian angel oh my guardian angel that's really something uh oh so it gives us an option too to respond so some of your quests are very dangerous so you might need my help would you like me to come with you yes cool we got a guardian angel let's take this stuff let's uh loot this place out nothing else here so we have to defeat the intruders so we have to fight the boars okay i'm prepared i'm prepared to fight there you go Got him. There's one more boar over here. Oh boy. So space bar while moving to roll. What is this? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was this ep epoch, right? I believe it was the epoch of uh, and it disappeared. Okay, so roll. We can roll with space bar. And then what else did it say? So we can guard. Can we? Are we? Are we guarding? Oh, no, no, no. So we protect ourselves with uh, with the middle mouse button. OK, got it. So now we have to find a key from Wigman's house. So let's go back in here. We we're just there not too long ago. Where is it at? Oh, let's take this. Might have missed it at the beginning. Oh, it's right here. Cool. We got the key. And now it's telling us to go this way. Let's see. What does the log tell us now? says burned house okay so we need to reach uh find a burned house okay let's 
head over there and i'm gonna start using the controller just to test the controller out uh to see how that feels and here's a quick glimpse of the controller action bar one two with my triggers three four as well up and down on the um uh, directional buttons uh four five and six uh next uh, object and then to interact is the um right uh <laughs> directional button which is interesting then you dodge a uh and then some other like the roll block simple attack with x uh, stab with y and then swipe with uh b okay not that bad and then inventory with uh the shirt button or option or <laughs> select button and then the menu got it There's some items here Pick them up. There's some whoops here. Let's see how combat feel with the um, with the controller. So let's block. So that was the quick uh, attack with the um, with the X button. And let's see. Let's see B button. B button is slash. So it's like quick. And then stab. That's doesn't look like a stab <laughs> just took a look at the inventory and i have this the guardian angel stone and it looks like I'm, i can equip him see oh check that out he just came out what does he do though does he help me or okay i'm not attacking the wolf the six there you go got him I, I can't make up my mind uh like uh when it comes to what i want to use i'm probably gonna be switching back and forth because it's not fair just to write off the uh, mouse and keyboard uh just because of the comments so i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be testing both of them out so we found the burned house and i believe this is an entrance so we're gonna go in here that is one big rat man i tell you oh my god okay glad he's down there's okay there's one two <laughs> two more over here so let's take them down holy crap man oh there's another one oh snap okay let's block let's block how do i block okay let's run wait i thought i how do i block where's my guarding angel that's how i block but i wasn't blocking okay i need to work on these uh controls for sure oh one hit nice chest here oh finally some a leather vest this is definitely gonna help let's go to our inventory equip that nice some more armor we'll definitely need that let's see what else is in here more rats so the guarding angel heals us there you go boy that was an uppercut i think I need to heal up though. Man, these creatures at the beginning, they're landing some major damage on you. Look at my health went halfway. Or I'm just taking a lot for sure. Uh, plus, plus I'm not blocking, so that's something I need to learn. I need to get with the program when it comes to the mechanics of the game. There you go. Oh, another guy coming over here. This way. They Oh, one. One shot. One shot him. There you go. Got you. There's a chest over here. What's in here? Oh, a sword. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Let's equip that sword. Scroll of cleave. What is this? A strong melee attack that will damage an enemy in front of you. So this is going to teach us an attack. There you go. And it was added to our tab here. So we got it on, on one. Cool. We got some coin and some other stuff. We're making progress. Okay. Let's see what's in here. So I need a key for that. Let's see. Let's go to our quest log. So in order to get through here, we need to meet the gaffer, which said in the um, yeah, the gaffer. Here it is. Uh, we need to meet the gaffer. It's part of the secondary quest. We're definitely going to do that because we might find something good, useful in there in early games. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So a few boars here that we're about to slave. There's a big one too. I think this might be part of our quest, to be honest. Let's use our new attack. Let's block. There you go, zero. That's good. So when I block, I accidentally zoom in the camera because that's the mouse wheel that I'm using to block. There you go, what a beast. I'll take something from it uh, to make a necklace uh, to remind me of these fights. Wow, Wigman, you're, uh, you're something. 
Okay, so we killed the boar. There's one more though. Let's take this guy on. This this sword is definitely doing some damage. I'm glad we we got that. We got a health potion here. The wheat. So it seems like something attacked our sheep, and it seems to be wolves. So we're about to go find the wolves then, and might fight like a wolf boss, just like the big uh, the big uh, boar with red eyes. So uh, let's see. I guess we can say this is our first official dungeon if we're gonna call it that in this game let's see took this guy out what are these like bugs oh boy it's quite oh three. Oh my god uh let's use our new attack nice let's block now with this leather jacket uh i'm not taking a lot of damage which is good but the thing is, is that when I block, I accidentally zoom in, which is like an odd spot to have the the, the block button uh, there. So, okay, let's keep going forward. So this might be the main wolf. I'm not completely sure it's white, so I'm assuming it is, and it's bigger. But let's take care of this one first. And I'm ready with my new attack as well. Okay, let's see. Was that it? Oh! Spiders? What? First time I see spiders in this game. Okay. Let's take some. Let's eat something. Oh, my health. Take the health potion. There you go. Got it. There's a big spider. That's the boss spider. <laughs> So I'm gonna call it. We got him though. Got all of them. And with not a lot of damage taken too. So what is this? Interesting. A death goblin. A dead goblin. Death goblin. I've never seen one in Lonely Valley. I would like to learn how much of an infamous creature has got has got here. Another uh, unanswered question to think about. But now I have to get back home. Huh. Oh, and there's a sword over there. A great sword. Which means that I might have to use both of my hands something interesting too is that when i equip this stuff right here uh, it says that i have uh, too, way too much gear so therefore I so like i slow down meaning that maybe my character isn't strong enough so you've equipped more gear than you can carry so maybe as we leveled up we we gain strength like so in, in order for us to be able to carry stuff like right there yeah 8.5 and right now we have we're at we're at eight so uh definitely not gonna be able to carry this and then we got the new sword and yep that's what i thought uh <laughs> it takes our our shield away but we're gonna keep just keep using the normal sword because that's been working for us and then uh see if there's anything else we can do in this dungeon so we came to the end of the dungeon we're right here and the entrance is right here, but there's an entrance here or exit. I wonder if that's just going to take us out uh, to like the very entrance. And that would be cool because that way we don't have to go all the way back to where we came through. So let's see what happens. So this happened. Okay. Salve Wigman. What a surprise, Salve. Salve, right? This is no chance. Uh, this is no chance meeting, is it? Strange things are happening here. What are you talking about? Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like uh, that both wild animals and certain creatures of darkness have multiplied beyond measure. Okay. Spiders, you say. Giant spiders and dead goblins. You are right, Wigman. These are not accidents. These are signs. That's why I'm here. So it seems like there's something evil after Wigman. So we're about to head out, leave our peaceful place, our farm, our house to find out what exactly is going on. One hour later. Looks like I found the next town where I'm going to be at and doing quests. Uh, let's see if that's actually the case. Also, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to brief you guys on the dialogue just so you don't have to sit there and watch me stumble through my words as i try to read through it so right now we're on chapter two and we're about to head out to uh get this bear that has been attacking the hives and stealing stuff so uh and that's gonna be in a den as well so headed over there now so we made it to the cave now we just have to find the big bad uh bear here's one but i don't think that's the that's the main one and i think we found the big bad bear there he is this thing is huge and it has like blue things dropping we got him. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Bear head. And then the scroll of grand uh ground slam. Okay, this is a new a new one for us. 
slaps the ground, sending out shockwaves that damages all enemies around. Teaches you ground slam. Cool. Let's take that. And then we definitely need to heal up. And I'm going to take a look around this, um, this dungeon. Still lots of ground to cover. Dang, look at this. As I made my way back to town, it seems like some goblins are attacking town. So let's, let's get rid of them. Trying to take on these three guys. Oh, look at them rolling. Got one down. Second guy down. There you go. Okay. So I guess I need to get these other guys so that we can continue on, huh? See, I might end up switching the button to block because I just keep zooming in whenever I do. See, like that right there. The bad place, I think. Okay, got those three and I need to get those four over there. So I'm going to heal up. You guys are down. One more. Come on. There you go. Got all of them. And let's see. Quest. Yeah, got all of them. Drop defeated. There's a drop. The goblins cannot be completely defeated without killing their leader. Drop. Okay. Gonna go have to find out Dross wherever he is. He's alone now. I defeated all of his minions, then retreated, and now it's just him and me. Let's do this. All right. Let's come in strong. Oh, and I completely missed on that one. Look at that kick, bro. <laughs> This boy is WWE. What? Uh uh. I'm blocking. Uh uh. I got you. I got him. Nice. I got him finally. Now I can let this guy know that I killed the bear. Now I find out how to increase your weight limit. I did equip this satchel that I had in my inventory because the uh, healing one, the guarding angel wasn't really being that helpful except for just healing occasionally. So I equipped that and you can also do that by uh, investing points in constitution, which is this right here. Uh, when every time you level up, you get a point. So uh, that's how you do it. So the village was attacked again. And now I have this new companion. We're after Papa Goblin because he took slaves in. And I think we're here, sir. We have to free the place where the wheel that opens the gate is guarded. Then we'll be able to open the gate. Okay, let's do that. I think that's the one he was talking about. Shouldn't be that bad. Uh, he interrupted my attack. How about you interrupt this one? Where's my companion going? You ain't helping, man. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's use this. That should open the gate. That's over here, I believe. Yes, it is. I see it there. And I think we just stumbled into Papa Goblin. Uh, Can I get ready? Is it too late? <laughs> yep. It is. So upgraded my gear and got some potions. So we should be doing better now, hopefully. Don't got any shields now, so gotta dodge. But I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I accidentally there you go, we got him. Nice. Looks like the slave might be in there. There's a slave, I think. Okay, cool. Let's take him out. And we're good. Let's see. There you go. Now we have to escort Grim out. So got to protect them at all costs. Well, goblins coming our way. I'm over here just bashing, slashing. I don't have a shield, but I do have to start do dodging now. There you go. We got them. So he said that he can handle himself from here. So now let's see where we're headed next. We're going back to Raiden. Uh, you know, the, the guy that has been training us, I guess, uh, and sending us on these missions to see what he has next for us. So as we make our way over there, I would like to point out that the soundtrack of this game gives me Witcher vibes for some reason. I, I, what do you guys think? For, <laughs> it just does. It, it does give me Witcher vibes. On to more missions. And it seems like now I have two companions. This big guy over here which I assume might act as a, uh, <laughs> as a tank. And then the, this other guy with an ax, which uh, we just did a mission with him uh, by attacking 
Father Goblin, that's what I'm calling him. Or was his, wasn't his name Fayette or something like that? One hour later. So we are now in chapter three, how to kill a dragon. Now, I'm hoping that's the case where we're going to get to actually fight against the dragon. We did a few more missions towards the end of chapter two and a lot happened lore wise. Not a lot, but like something big. I found out something big and I don't want to spoil it for you. If just in case you do decide to play this game and I want to tell you the lore is amazing story is amazing in this game and i'm also gonna tell you that things get way easier when it comes to the fighting in one on once you have two companions with you so i would suggest to do all these side quests start doing side quests once you have two more people with you uh you know two more companions so uh it's definitely helped out a lot so we're gonna continue on we're trying to infiltrate this dungeon and let's see how we do this so we have to destroy these towers and here is the second one we already got one of them the gates are open now we can get inside nice let's fight this guy over here and i do want to tell you as well is that uh the controls get easy i know in the comments uh, uh that i saw about the game and uh lost my train of thought there <laughs> i just wanted to say that you know in the reviews some of the reviews said that uh, the the combat is confusing when it comes to like the controls and one i got used to it I got used to it and I'm feeling it. I did not end up using the controller. I'm all about the mouse and keyboard for this game and I'm loving it so far. Gotta fight more of these fools over here. Now, where are you guys going? Are you running for from us? Okay, well, let's fight these guys. There you go. Let's take some of this uh, turkey. <laughs> ham, let's just say ham. All right, this is too easy now. All right, come on. Here's the entrance that we were looking for. There's a lot of them here, man. Let me see if I want to use my my old, well, not an old, but my special ability. There it is. Another thing too is that you have to time your 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 abilities well because the cooldowns on it they are long. They are very long. I, I would suggest. Uh, oh, these these guys are here on top. I would suggest to lower the cooldown because they are very long. There you go. Come on. Come on, big guy. Take him out. I'm just standing behind the big guy. <laughs> Using him as a tank. There you go. Let's keep moving forward. Some more of those giant rats. There you go. You know, at the beginning, I thought that these serpents were going to like snakes were going to attack me, but they, they don't. They just chill around. We finally made it into the. Uh, into the uh, dungeon of the castle and these right here are teleporters that you can use to teleport to locations that you have visited throughout the whole map so let's continue on man this place is crawling with spiders this is crazy Dude, i'm just letting them beat on the goblins <laughs> so we were finally able to find a harp that we are going to need to put the dragon to sleep i'm interested to see how that dragon looks in this game but uh, the crazier part is that we can't take any of this gold can you imagine like look at this why can't would would have been nice if we could have like looted some of it at least you know it's, these chests uh are like that i wasn't able to get anything out of them so it would have been cool though uh anyways let's grab the harp uh and uh head towards uh the location where the dragon is supposed to be the golden harp uh it says can we go to the dragon master yeah my friend you will see your dream realize mine too but i'm afraid it may be a terrible dream I hope that such a dream will not uh, turn into a nightmare, a nightmare from which uh, you cannot wake up. I think we are near, but check out that dragon made out of uh, stone. Oh, there's a chest over here. Let's go see what we can find. Let's see some coin, a potion. Let's see if the, there's another one over here. Yep. Some more of that coin and potions. Cool. All right, let's move on to the next area. Feel like we're close. This looks really good. The graphics on this game, I I'm loving them actually. Very, I like the medieval style fantasy. It's just one of my favorites. Oh, wow. There's the dragon.
and we put it to sleep with the arp. Harp, not arp. There you go. It is wise even to gaze on such a... <laughs> it's not wise to uh, gaze on such an unholy creature. Wow, there's the dragon asleep. Now we're going to look around to see if we can find any more chests in this, in this big hall. Let's see how big it is. It's pretty big. And then let's check out our quest. It updated. Uh, let's see. Because we are in the How to Kill the Dragon one, Chapter 3. So the Hidden King received the royal blessing from for the Knights of, from Templar Throne Room reached. Okay, so we have to move further to receive the royal blessing. Oh, wow. Check out this place. The Great Hall. It is a great hall indeed. Jeez. This looks amazing. Look at the lighting. All right. There's a throne right there. Let's see. So we're finally talking to King Alfred, but he is not here. Let's see. Uh, you can now ask me everything you want. Where are you? Now I am here with you. The King of Kings, he uh, has allowed me to come. Those words you have read refer to him, not to me. I was, I am, and I will ever be just his servant. Your Majesty, we need you. We may not be able to come back here to the Great Hall. <laughs> yeah, not with that dragon sleeping. It, he, it's probably going to wake up soon. It says, that will not be necessary because I always will be with you. Interesting, as I have always been. Just remember the words, Rex Regum et Dominus Dominorum. Uh, but you must <laughs> believe. Oh, there are more options if I scroll further down. Your Majesty, your people are enslaved in an unthinkable way. Antiochus is controlling their minds. We have to defeat him, but we are few. What can we do? And he said, you need just one thing, the book of light. Ha, okay, that sounds harder to get than the harp. The That will be enough to be, be defeat the darkness. And that darkness is not Antiochus. Antiochus, I, I, I know I'm, I'm just destroying that name. But no one can get the book without a shield. Jeez, so we need a shield and then get the book. And it's called the Shield of Glory. It was your father's shield. So it looks like we got a brand new quest. So go, my loyal servants, go and fight like lions, the lions of Templar. So we need to get a shield, my father's shield, and then get the Book of Light in order to defeat uh, the darkness. Oh, jeez, the dragon is awake. Are we going <gasps> to... We are going to fight him. Oh, jeez. All right, let's do this. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the fire? I'm expecting some fire. Okay. No fire yet. Oh, he killed he killed both of them already? All right, so I find a good way to defeat it. Just block. Oh, jeez. A few minutes later. So the dragon does bust out the fire after you get their health down to uh to half. To 50%. Oh boy, but when are you going to stop throwing that, man? It's been a minute now since you've gone up and started firing your fire your, your fire balls is this gonna go on forever we got it we got it we killed the dragon yes we are worthy we are worthy did i get anything good uh, <laughs> we are worthy we killed a oh, we killed the dragon guys oh my gosh but now we have zero health potions Hopefully we don't face something, anything dangerous on our way out of here. But we got a lot of coin, too. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Uh, our quest got updated. Let's see. Where are you? Oh, chapter three. We're done with chapter three. Yep, there it is. We're done with chapter three. I wonder what's next. I bet the next thing will happen after we leave this place. Oh, my God. This has been a journey. Oh, right there. There's that exit. Let me, you know what? Let me go ahead and save just in case. So I think we've reached a good stopping point. I've played enough of the game to uh, put together a list of pros and cons and uh, the verdict on this early axis. And as you can see, I did lots of things. I actually did some uh, side questing. Uh, we reached uh, chapter three, and this is how you should look, I believe, everyone, if after completing chapter three, if you don't, 
<laughs> you must you must have missed uh, something and for those who are wondering this is the nagling uh set uh, i hope i'm saying that right all right it's time to move on to the uh pros and cons list and my final verdict let's do this so starting with the pros graphics look great the colors the lighting materials all well put together to make it look aesthetically pleasing great soundtrack which reminded me of the witcher don't know why but it just did it has a pleasant old school rpg feel now i'm not huge on the melee class you know me i'm all about being a mage that's <laughs> that's always been my main my main character my main class but this game made me appreciate the melee class a little bit more the game rewards exploration if you want to be rocking the best gear you have to go out there and search every inch of the map and dungeons in order to acquire the good stuff and increase your stats the lore is top-notch like it's really really good the story had me hooked and it still does and I can't wait to get to the very end to see how the rest of it unfolds now moving on to the cons now when I first started playing the game it was very constitution dependent which was addressed in the latest update this was just making it hard for me to equip better slash heavier gear enemies on the early game can take half of your health off which was kind of fixed by addressing the constitution thing allowing better gear to be equipped early on but i feel like their damage should still be lower just a tad bit another con is that i found out that just using the sword was a lot more efficient than using the abilities which is not optimal now in other words my basic attack damage was a lot higher than my abilities and finally yes the default controls can feel odd for example having the block button right on the mouse wheel which oftentimes led me to accidentally zoom in and out while i was fighting for my life and now the moment of truth the verdict now i believe this game is absolutely it's completely worth it oftentimes i found myself venturing off into the unknown exploring and finding entertaining side quests beside the main story like from fighting werewolves to finding materials for the blacksmith to craft an epic sword for me there was just plenty to do and i enjoyed every part of it yes it could use a tad bit of a balance but the game is headed in the right direction especially with the latest um uh with the latest updates that the developers did to the game let me know what you think if you played this game what was your experience positive negative in the middle let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i'm pretty sure that if they get their eyes on this video they will appreciate all the feedback also so don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe for more of this content and other shenanigans until next time king hayes out